Hello everyone, Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. It's been several weeks since I've been out with my camera. Honestly, I was, was feeling a little bit down and needed a pickup. So I grabbed my camera and came out this morning. I certainly have some creative thoughts in mind. And I think with the weather predictions being poor and no great skies and nothing special about this particular morning, I think I needed a little creativity boost. It made me think of a quote by Scott Adams. Creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes. Art is knowing which ones to keep. Well, anyway, I have no delusions of capturing an award-winning image this morning. I'm just here to enjoy the day. Although I don't have a fantastic composition in mind, I thought I'd experiment a little bit. Maybe take an image before sunrise and, and an image after sunrise. Shooting into the sun is not without its challenges. Unwanted lens flares can ruin a perfectly good image. Let me show you how I deal with lens flares, both in the field and in post-processing. So one of the things uh, about shooting into the sun, and I, I know a lot, of, a lot of photographers don't like shooting into the sun because of the lens flares that it causes, but there's ways to deal with that. And you don't have to go into Photoshop and be a color expert to kind of just desaturate everything and take the solar flares out. Maybe you're looking for the solar flares as, as an artistic expression. So that might be something that you're interested in. But typically, I don't like the solar flares uh, in my image. Certainly when they, they're kind of blotchy and, and they're, not, uh, they're not kind of symmetrical or, or aligned with the image on how I really want them to be. So I think um, with that, the best defense against solar flares, I think, is covering up the sun. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but what you do is you basically capture two exposures. One exposure is just right there with the sun in it. And then the second exposure, you just kind of, I, I typically just take my fingers and I cover up the sun, just the sun spot. You can use your thumb, you can kind of move it in and out and get that, get that sun covered up. And what that'll do is that'll knock out all the flares on, on areas of the image where you don't want the flares. And so, back in Photoshop, you can take the two layers and basically take the image that you've covered up the sun with and you just kind of paint in all the areas in the image that, uh, that don't have the flares. Basically, long story short, put the images together and uh, you can take the, the, the flares and just brush them right out. And, uh, and that is the way I like to deal with solar flares. So I think that's a handy tool. There's some other things I, I think uh, I've seen uh, around is maybe using a spoon or a kind of a paddle or something that's small and tiny, but you can always move it in and out to kind of you know, cover, cover up more of the sun or less of the sun. So, uh, but you know, really, I've always used two or three fingers to cover up the sun. I've had no issues doing that. I think that's a, a, just a good way to deal with solar flares. I know there's lots of other ways to do it in Photoshop, but I find this one to be the easiest. And you don't have to be a Photoshop genius to figure that out or to do it. It's pretty simple. Just a couple of layers in Photoshop. Well, I certainly didn't come away with an award winner today, but, but you know what? Really and truly landscape photography for me, it's all about getting outdoors and, and just kind of, you know, getting back to nature. And I had a choice last night. I thought, well, I could sleep in, that's an option, or I could just get myself together and get out this morning and capture some images. So whether you come away with an award winner or not really doesn't matter. What matters is that you, you know, you, you practice landscape photography, you learn some new skills and and you had some time outdoors. That's what really counts. Well, uh, I hope you picked up a couple of tips that might benefit you. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. But if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And as always, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail. Well, as I had suspected, no award-winning images here. 
Nevertheless, I am partially fond of this one, although I would have liked for there to have been a better balance between the sun and the tree. Well, it's like Scott Adams said, creativity is making mistakes. But knowing which mistakes to keep, that's the art of it. Art is subjective, and everyone does have an opinion. But whose opinion should matter? We all want others to like our work. But truly, the most important opinion is your own. And if you're satisfied with your work, then that's all that should matter.